What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming and welcome back to Armageddon in 7 Days to Die. As you can see, we are rocking day 54 with a brand new haircut. It feels chilly. Back of my neck is cold. But, I think it looks alright, it looks good. But that's not the only thing that's changed. I st stood away, well, stepped away, it's now daytime. And it's not the only thing that's changed because a look at that. We've decorated our house. And I've noticed that there's a block I have missed right there. Oh well. But this is the house. I it took a while. There is not many colours in uh seven days. Um I thought I could look at some mods to see if there's any difference but it's like three pages not even three four pages just a couple just here and there and it's not very good because a lot of them are just like damaged scratched like rusted away type thing it's relatively quiet we have done so much it looks amazing and I even did the farm <laughs> just used the same contrasting colors as the house it looks absolutely crazy. I, I like it. It's better than what it was. Oh no, there's zombies. We've done the front room. I, I put that TV black as kind of like the floor varnish. I think it looks pretty cool. It can't be too much. And I did the same with the windows. Windows are the same color. This is a medicine cabinet. That's the name of the texture for this. It's a fireplace. I thought it would look cool as like metallic. And we've done all this. We've done the garage, the floor, the vent. I missed a block right there. And we've done the top, nice and black. Floor, it's a nice dark oak kind of color. We did the stairs, black handrails. And we did up here. We even did our old room and we even changed the window. I think it looks cool. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error trying to get the shapes that I wanted and obviously the paint I kind of like went into it without a clue now there are zombies beating on stuff we haven't done anything to the gar uh, to the caravan destroy the feral biker I'm surprised he's still alive but he is he's now dead destroy all of you guys. Oh, feral nurse. Feral Natalie. And poke you right in the head. Alright, there are more coming in. Loads more. Awesomeness. This is what I was going to focus on mostly on day 54 anyway. Is painting and decorating. The whole house i haven't done anything to the corridor or the walls or anything but we do need to get started on the horde base we'll throw away our paintbrush everything is done now i'm so happy with how the base looks now it's been a long time coming uh we need that the paint can go in there as well and uh, this lot i want to grab you and you throw you back down and we are going to mix our concrete. We will split it in half. Yeah, that stayed the same. And then mix again to concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We're doing okay for the ammo, which I'm happy about. There are more zombies. Oh wow. They're doing a number on these blocks. I don't like that. Although I'm very happy, surprised that I killed that pharaoh in one hit. So we've got more concrete on the craft. So we can carry on with our horde base. I will more likely change how it looks. Maybe because it does look really bad. Really bulky. I'm not a fan of that. We do have another trader available to us that we've not been to yet. So I'm thinking we're going to go to the new trader. I'm not sure who it is. It might be Trader Jen. 
It's Trader Hugh. Okay. Okay, we don't have many of him around. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Trader Hugh and see what he's got to sell for us. We do have our stuff with us to sell. I, was, I wonder what that noise was then. Uh, let's get a full whack of fuel. If I can hit the button. Gas. And then throw you back in there. One, two. Yeah, I've already done six. Six. Was, okay. Loads of them are just like spawned in. <laughs> oh, it was a good time when I left. Okay, so it's about three kilometers away. It's a long way. It's a long way. Is it worth it? Because I've not really done any quests for Trader Hugh. So he'll offer me tier one shit, basically. Do I have any skill points? I have one. Can I go into better barter or anything? Or I can go one more into better bar better barter when I can. How far am I from leveling up? Oh, I'm just under half, about a quarter. I might have to kill some zombies before I get there. And we have arrived. Never been here before. Have I not discovered Trader Hugh in this in this series yet? Hang on, I thought I did already. I thought up. Uh, yeah, Trader Hugh. Oh yeah, it's just I've come from a different part of his compound. It looked like it was a different trader. But yeah, it makes sense now. Right? Okay, we have we we've done we've been to Trader Hugh before. Just not this one. What do you have for me, friend? Let's eat the sugar butts. Oh, and uh, forgot to mention, I do have a reflex sight mod onto my Desert Eagle now. Extra damage. Think you're pretty hot shit we'll now. take the XP. Well, you did it. May so I see your inventory? Let's sell anything and everything we can. There's probably some mods that I probably could have put into some of it. Uh, but uh, I just don't really have much in the way of mods and uh, it, some of them use steel to craft okay so we made 17,000 we've got 2,400 24,000 sorry right what do you have Trady Huey boy not much ammo he's got a bit of gunpowder he's got some forged steel nearly 100 forged steel that's quite a good amount Nothing much else. Uh, any mods? Not really. Books. Sorry, I hit my uh, mic there. Bow hunters? Sure. Tech planet? Whatever. I'm nearly coming up to the end of the uh, magazines. I've pretty much read almost everything I've ever really wanted to read. But I forget Alexa, because why not? Switches, definitely. Or four by four truck accessory, shotgun, auto turret. Sure, I can only buy one. Jeez, okay. The bloody That's background of the shelf sh of this shelf is rather off-putting when I'm in this inventory. Lantern, sure. Blade trap, sure. Electric wire relays, yes. Shotgun, auto turret. Electro timer relay. Sure, don't think I have many of them. Armor, what very soldier. Appliances, yes. Large pipes, file cabinet, cash register, pictures and paintings, yes. Why not? I guess you're not so and bad. That's kind of all. everything. Uh, he does have an ammo ammo crate here. Thank you very much. I can't remember your name, but you told me about this. Thank you so much for that heads up. I now know that there's always a, a a crate here that will go a long way and help in the future going forward I don't know really why I don't know what I'm really looking for anymore probably don't need to loot his compound most of all the looting I need to do kind of just needs to be in the wasteland uh, I will check your candies though do you have any candies no he does not Okay, so we came all this way for not much. 
Where's my bike? My bike's on the other side. There is an airdrop nearby. It is there. Sure. I think I marked it on the map once upon a time. We're going to check it out. See what's, see what's in store for us. We have arrived. It is just in this garden. Which is nice. It's a tier 2. So I'm not really going to get a looting bonus from it. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, still knuckle parts. I'm not using still. Antibiotics is amazing. Happy days. Ammo crafting bundle. Sure. Uh, op open. So bows, compound bow quality three. I can make a quality five, but I have a quality five. Tech planet, stun bat. Oh my god, why did I buy that? I thought that te I thought tech planet was for turrets. <laughs> Home cooking. I can make spaghetti. Arm it up. Arm it up. No. Okay. Need to get into the habit of marking them off because I'm terrible for just picking them up and disappearing. But we're going to head home, drop the stuff off that we've found, that we've bought, that we've gotten, what we've looted. That's a nice house. Uh, um, there's an ever airdrop. Okay, it's not marked on my map. Fair enough. Someone's looking out for me. Thank you very much. Uh, as a matter of fact, take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> Uh, let's sort that out. Uh, scrapping for fun. Impact driver quality one. Arm it up. Bow hunters. Uh, not good, not great, but it's something. Which I'll definitely hang on to something. Yeah, so I head home. I'm pretty sure I can make the gyrocopter. We are going to go home, see about making the gyrocopter. And then that'll be our new transportation going around. And because all this... Because I can't go in a straight line when I'm on the ground. Can't go in a straight line. It's really annoying because buildings are in, in, in the way. At least with a gyrocopter, I can, just, I can cut a lot of the time down. I may need to make a secondary supercharger mod because I'm never going to remember to swap them out. With the mods that I have in my motorbike, I'm never going to remember to swap them out. Whoa, okay. Just a few friends. Are they the ones from earlier? They might be. Oh, look, it's a feral screamer. Happy days. I'm so happy for me. I'm so happy. Alright, let's spin around. What are you doing in my base? Ow. How did you get in there? Can I make a gyrocopter, please? Vehicles. I can. I'm 100 out of 100. Okay, so, well, let's grab a battery and engine. I've got 15 tires. Worth 1,100. Three tires. Battery, engine, three tires. Yep. What do I need to make that? What do we have? Gyrocopter chassis. Gyrocopter accessories. Let's track that first. It is relatively expensive. Fr grab you. Uh, where do I... Where did I put my headlights? Are they in here? Yes, they are. And some short iron pipes. Mechanical parts. And spring. You will be done in here. That can wait. Because the gyrocopter is more important. Okay, so the next thing is stop tracking that. Uh, science. Now we need the chassis. Track. Oh, God, he uses a lot of steel. That's more steel than I remember. Where's my duct tape? Do I not have any duct tape? Ugh. Duct tape. 
I need glue and cloth. Accessories are almost done. Not long now until we can take to the skies and get around so much faster. But the only problem is, is that I'm not really used to the gyrocopter when it comes to handling it. And I crash a lot. Any of you guys that have seen my previous series know that I'm no Vin Diesel when it comes to driving. <laughs> Even though he does seem to crash a lot too. Maybe I am like Vin Diesel. Call me Chips Diesel. Big Diesel. I've realised I've not really done much raiding near my house. Let's check out the... Mm. I think I've done that one before. But this one doesn't look... This one looks different. As Asgard residents. Are we going to find Thor here? Can we find Thor? I'd love to find Thor. I will take that stone. That's locked. So that might be where the loot room might be. And I come back up there when I'm done with the POI. Okay, so where is the way in? Oh, it's the ladder. Uh, is it this way? Through the roof? Might be. Okay. And in we go. Thank you for dying. Thank you very much for dying. I it's totally appreciated. I do need brass. Brass is an ongoing issue. Sure, I'll take the springs. Sure, I'll take all this too. Some cloth and some more springs. Stamina, if you could please. Buck your ideas up. Not, not, not fuck, buck. <laughs> right. That's done, that's done, that's done. Oh, a spider. You are very quiet. That was a mute spider. Not even so much as a little holler as he spawns into the well. Okay, so we do have... I'm just going to read that. I don't care about it. Uh, one of the problems about looting so close to home is that we're close to home. And we all know that it's constant hordes. So, me raiding here might not be for the best. I kind of want to destroy that. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, they're all coming through the woodworks. I'm not going to have you jump scare me again. Whoa. Oh, shit. That screamer. Honestly. Got Lois. Whoa. She kind of, like, got a little burst of energy there. What a boy. Always dragging your heels from behind the pack of the horde. Now, where's that front door? Whoa! Okay. Any more, any more, any more. Sure, that's no. Fridge, no thank you. Alright, we're going down. I've never done this POI before, and I am curious. You made me nervous there, crawler boy. Was not a fan in the slightest. Alright, I don't think there's anything there. That's a red door. That's not a bad red. I wish it looked a little bit better, though. Anything under here? I will take the stone. You got so much in those pallets. Could you get up? Ooh. Okay. Catacombs. Underground. This is... Wow, okay. I like this. This is pretty cool. Whoa. Jeez, okay. That is wicked. This being underneath this house. 
plus concrete pallets, stone pallets. I'm all about that. So this is the main area. There is a screamer. Oh, there is a. I knew you'd wake up. Just three of them. <laughs> just falling out. Just falling out of just your, your little hidey hole. Sure. <laughs> because I'm not running back, so I don't need you. Any jewelry? No, nope. give me some diamonds. Who doesn't like diamonds? Okay, this is the main loot. Oh, this is a really cool POI. I love that when the developers do that. They take a POI and they just absolutely just surprise you by what you can find. Okay, this loot is really bad. I'm just going to read you. Okay, well, we looted a, ho a house near my, near my house whilst we were waiting for our gyrocopter. Well, the chassis to craft. I don't think the gyrocopter itself takes that long to craft. But, when do I ever get what I want? I had a lot of concrete blocks in my inventory. Did she scream? I don't know. I mean, she did. Although, I don't think screamers really spawn zombies anymore. But, we've been wrong before. Okay, so... I want a pole going all the way. Look at that. 522. I had loads still in my box, my uh, materials box. Okay, so poles. Is it that one? Or is it that one? I think it's that one. It has to be centered. Advanced. Turn your rounds and you go there sure are you, are you gonna reach okay loads of them are coming all right yeah it's another horde and it seems to be mostly ferals oh shit kev not when there's a biker coming at me <laughs> you'll get your turn trust for hugs and cuddles but not right now. Oh, it makes me nervous. Because I never know. Sometimes they... They flank me. They come from different directions. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. There. I hate misplacing blocks. Blocks. It's the most annoying thing that can happen. Uh, yes. There. And again. Yes. Are you going to change colour? I want you to be quite long. Yep. Yeah. And again. Are you going to change? You're, not, you're still the same colour. Oh, now it's starting to go yellow. When it goes pink, that's when... Right, that's when we need to put a solid block down. Well, I don't trust myself to fuck this up, so I'm just going to do this. Yeah, see, I, look, straight away. Straight away, I'm, I, I was in the wrong position. Okay, so it's this way we need to go. We need to go one there. I think. Let's try again. Let's check it. Always check your work. Proofread. <laughs> Proofread your work. Alright, so now that's connected. Sweet. So that's that. And then let's get some concrete blocks. You. Start placing. Oh yeah, the best thing about parkour is that when you jump, well, max level of parkour, when you jump, you can place two blocks underneath you. Okay, so that's really long now. <laughs> Fine with that. And I'm not too fast. Ooh, uh, shall I make this bigger? Shall I make this more chunky? I think it might be okay like that. Just needs to reinforce it. Steel. Just need to give it so much steel. That's all I need to do. 
Okay, well, let's go back to the poles again. What was it? Uh, 2.5, yeah. Advanced. Flip it over. Actually, I think I just want to go normal pole. Uh, square pole. Wherever it may be. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Because it can't be sideways. It can't be a corner pole. It has to be centered. Otherwise, the zombies will not run. Will not take that as a route. As we found out from the last series. Okay, so now it's like night time. But you guys get the picture. The, the base is going to be similar to that side. But it's longer. So loads more zombies will be able to come up there. And not be so clustered. Because in the previous hordes, they kept falling and getting angry. And trying to beat on this block. Which is not ideal by any means. But that is long enough. That's perfectly long enough. And I'm going to have traps. And I'm feeling that I'm going to make a very deep ditch. So when the zombies fall off here. They've got a long way to go. If I believe if it's more than... If, they, if there's 11 or more blocks away from you. When they fall. They won't go into rage mode. I just willy nearly beat on everything. Okay, so we've got quite a... Oh, shit. Quite a few zombies. Uh, you're in my base. How? How are you getting in my base? Oh, my God. It's just screamers. Ow, I'm stuck. Oh, shit. Okay. There was one behind me. I did not realise that. <laughs> now I'm infected. And I'm concussed. I need, to, I need to kill the screamers. Kill you. Shuma. Oh, you almost got me. But you fuck. Another one. And another one. Okay. Help them. As if I can bloody aim. I'd like to know how they get at my base. Is there a breach? I think they might. Yeah, there's two of them in here. I don't think it's. I don't think it's no longer them spawning in the base. I think they're generally broken through and they're able to get in. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check the walls. Check the fence. Oh piss off screen. You keep making me shoot my poles. Well we killed them all, but I couldn't see any breaches, so they must have spawned inside. That is really bad. <laughs> but I do I'm infected. I do need a honey. Get inside my face. And I am concussed, which I believe is a painkiller. We should have loads of them. Oh, we've got some... F Why is our coffee and our food in there? It might have been for the horde. Throw you back in there. Throw you away. And you. Uh, whatever, I'll throw the thingy... The tre treasure map in there. Throw you back down. We will continue... The whole base during the night, but I like how it's coming along. We've made we've made a walkway, a path for the zombies. Uh, I'm pretty sure the next horde is it the next horde. Fifty five is fifty five horde night. I have no idea. <laughs> we have to find out. I was gonna leave the the screamers just to like bond with my bars, a bond with my fence, my wall. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming.